Hello, I'm Richard from Town Valley Aquatics and behind me here is the newest moving bed filter that I've come up with. This signs out quite a few of the problems associated with previous ones. Obviously it isn't a proper tooled vessel, it's a shampoo bottle. But um, because of the curved nature of the top of the shampoo bottle, it doesn't trap any air there. So you tend not to get problems with the filter shaking itself loose and this one also has an integrated foam which helps trap a lot of the muck before it gets to the media. The media in here is actually a new sort of media. It's a ceramic sintered glass media instead of the normal plastic K1 and because of the nature of the media it doesn't move like the K1. The K1 all crashes together if this stuff crashes together, it's going to wear away. So this moves very, very gently. It more or less vibrates and the media doesn't crash into each other. There's still a good flow of water and air over the media and the media still is bumping into each other. So you still should get a very vigorous form of bacteria grown in this filter. This is looking through the side of the tank. So it's actually looking at the front of the filter and at first glance it's not really a moving bed filter but when I zoom in a little bit you can see that all the bits are vibrating so the airline comes in the bottom the bottom of this black section has got loads of holes in to allow the water to get sucked in the bottom as the air is being expelled out the top it sucks water in the bottom hits the foam which strains out a lot of the heavy muck and then the water passes through the media. Where the air is coming out there in the top of the foam, there's actually a T-piece. So it directs the air to two different places. So you get a really good coverage of air. Therefore, all the media moves. So the air bubbles passing right through all the media. And they're being spat straight out the top with no air collecting in the top at all. Because of the nature of the media compared to the standard plastic moving bed medias, I was kind of forced to more or less fill the whole container here to stop the media crashing into each other and therefore smashing this stuff to bits. And when I first realised that too much movement could actually cause the media to disintegrate, and bear in mind this is just a prototype media, um, they are working on a way to make it harder. With this being a ceramic media, if the different parts of media crash together too hard, they can break up the media. Hence, I've more or less filled this container with media to prevent that happening. This is actually a bonus because the container has a real maximum capacity of media in there. Whereas if I was using K1, I might only be able to fit 60, 70% full. So there's obviously going to be a lot more media in contact with your water in this sort of filter. I think the next logical step is to develop this into something that can be mass produced. After initially being disappointed that this couldn't really have the same sort of dramatic effect as the K1, I'm actually very pleased because the vessel can be pretty much filled with media and it can still be just as effective, if not more effective, than the K1. Certainly it's massively increased surface area when compared to K1. Should make it a hell of a lot more efficient than standard moving bed filters. It actually looks quite attractive as well. And bear in mind this is just a shampoo bottle. Get a close up of the top there, you can see that now there's no air collecting in the top at all. That really works very well, just from having a simple curve on the top of the bottle.
those people who haven't seen the first video I did about the actual making of this filter, I'll just quickly run through how it works. There's a hole drilled in the bottom here, which passes through the middle of the foam. There's a T-piece on the top of the airline to prevent it being pulled out of the foam. And also, it means that it delivers air in two different places at once, which gives you a good flow through your media. The bottom of the filter has been drilled around here so that when the air is being pumped through here and expelled through these holes, water is pulled up through here, muck's trapped in the foam, and then the water continues up, swirls all around in here, and the media does its job. With the top of this bottle being curved, the air comes up and it doesn't collect in the top, it's just spat straight out of here. I've actually fixed two big suckers to the back of here so it fits on the tank and doesn't move. 